Hey everyone, it's Rob with Passport to the Parks, and today is Thursday, February the 21st, and I'm here at Disney's Hollywood Studios, checking up on the Disney Skyliner and the gondola testing that's going on. A lot of fun behind me, tons of gondolas on the hall rope today, but we are here to check out the power that's actually on board the gondolas. Uh, if you want to check out PassportToTheParks.com, you can find all kinds of great information there. All my social media there is, is there as well. Uh, you can find uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. If you haven't subscribed on YouTube, I truly appreciate that. It really helps to support everything that I do. Uh, let me get you turned around and we'll take a look at the gondolas up close and we'll talk about some of the onboard power that they're going to have. So the gondolas right now are stopped. Uh, they're running about in five minute increments. Uh, they run at full speed in and out of the stations. Uh, but while we're here and they're stopped, there's been some rumors going around the internet that there's not going to be onboard power for the gondolas, and I'm here to put that rumor to rest that there is absolutely going to be power on board. Uh, there is a battery capacitor that's on top of the gondola, and they actually charge when they go in and out of the stations. Now, Disney has announced that they are not going to have the AC on board, uh, but they are going to have onboard announcements, music, and interior lighting, as well as uh, the possibility of even some video cameras on board. Uh, and I'm going to show you here in a brief second on how that power works and where it's located. So we'll see as the gondola leaves the station. On the top of the grip, there's two black prongs that stick out, and they have two metal brackets on the bottom of those prongs. And those prongs actually make contact with an electrical cable that's inside of the inner track. And that's what charges the battery capacitor, which is that silver box that is on top of the gondola itself. There's a black cable that runs down from those prongs into that battery capacitor. And that's what's going to give onboard power to the gondolas. So there we can see the battery capacitor box right on top, mounted. Now these are, these are high capacitor batteries. So they charge very quickly and rapidly as they enter the station. And they'll hold that charge and they're constantly charging at uh, either station that they go into. Now whether or not this means air conditioning on board at any point or if Disney could still make that announcement, who knows. Uh, there are gondolas that do have AC and heat in other areas, so it is a possibility. But as of right now, we definitely know that there's going to be the onboard announcements, the music, and the interior lighting, all charged by those battery capacitors. Another good shot of the door opening mechanism. You can see the lever as it passes through the door closing mechanism. It actually pushes down. You'll see it slides straight down and it closes the doors. It's kind of a neat process. So as it comes into the station, it does the complete opposite. It pushes that lever up and it opens the doors. So it's basically just like a little hydraulic system that opens and closes the doors as it passes through the, the opener and the closing mechanism. We'll watch it again as it passes through. So you can see right in the center, uh, that lever is sticking up. And watch it real close as it passes through. It'll get pushed down and the doors close. Very, very cool. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this brief video about how the power is going to work on the Disney Skyliner gondolas. Uh, I would again invite you to visit PassportToTheParks.com. You can find all my social media there as well as all kinds of great stories, pictures, articles. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that great stuff. And if you haven't done so, please consider subscribing here on YouTube. It really does help to support everything that I do here. So until the next video, take care, guys, and we'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye-bye.